Hello and welcome to this presentation on species activity in caves of Runaway Creek Nature Reserve using trail camera traps. This poster will be presented by Camille Mendez, Marissa Foley, Lilia Giroux, and Avril Flory, students of the NAU in Belize Tropical Ecology Field School, summer 2023. As technology continues to advance in our ever-developing world, we have the opportunity to document natural history through methods such as physical specimens or visual observations. And now, a new method to accomplish this is the use of trail cameras. Trail cameras are stationary devices that are equipped with motion sensors and infrared technology, allowing them to capture images or videos in a non-invasive manner. The importance of trail cameras lies in their ability to provide researchers with valuable data on wildlife distribution, behavior, population dynamics, and habitat use. For this reason, trail cameras are now playing a crucial role in non-invasive research methods, particularly in the field of wildlife biology and conservation. This non-invasive approach is crucial for obtaining accurate and reliable data as it eliminates the potential biases and disturbances that can arise from direct human observation or capture methods. Our study site was at Runaway Creek Nature Reserve in Belize and our study plan focused on wildlife in and around the cave system in Runaway Creek Nature Reserve. The reserve spans over 6,000 acres of diverse ecosystems including untouched savannas, dense tropical rainforests, and limestone cave systems. The reserve is owned and managed by the Foundation for Wildlife Conservation and serves as a hub for scientific research, conservation, and environmental education. One of the most notable features of the reserve is, of course, its extensive cave systems. On a whole, Belize is known for its intricate network of caves, many of which hold significant archaeological and ecological value. However, there is a lack of data and awareness on these caves and their importance. Runaway Creek Nature Reserve is home to over 40 caves, of which we are focusing on Crocodile Cave 2 and Batsub. All the caves in Runaway Creek Nature Reserve are also in need for thorough and reliable data collection and publication, as there is so much within these caves that is still yet not properly discovered and studied in detail. Trail camera traps were deployed among the entrances of caves in Runaway Creek Nature Reserve, Belize. These trail cameras were deployed to assess wildlife in and around cave systems. For this study, we observed and assessed camera trap footage from two caves on Runaway Creek property, Batsub Cave and Crocodile Cave No. 2. Observed camera trap data from these caves, Batsub and Croc Cave No. 2, were relatively recent, ranging from year 2022 to 2023. Here is a map of Runaway Creek Nature Reserve, which is outlined in red, along with the two caves that were observed in this study, Batsub and Croc Cave No. 2. The results from the trail cameras at caves Croc 2 and Batsub at Runaway Creek Nature Reserve in Belize clearly show that caves play a significant role for wildlife. A variety of species was observed with the most common ones being paca and possums. Other sightings were agouti, bats, motmots, rats, an armadillo, a gray fox, bush dogs, and a black spiny-tailed iguana. Two interesting sightings were a puma who walked in and out of the Croc 2 cave and a jaguar who spent eight hours in Batsub. Because we saw the jaguar enter and exit the cave, we had both sides of the jaguar. Individual jaguars can be identified by their spots, sort of like a fingerprint. Because of this, we collaborated with Reynold Cal at Panthera to identify the jaguar. While the cat doesn't have a name yet, it is referred to as M12020 because it was the first new male spotted in 2020. Panthera has observed the jaguar consistently, and we were able to see him on our camera at Batsub. From our other sightings, we observed that the numerous paca showing up on camera would follow the same trail each time. This was true for both Croc 2 and Batsub. 
Other animals would walk in any direction, but the paca consistently traveled the same route. Animals such as possums and a mouse were observed drinking water in crop too. Due to the flooding that the cave experiences, many animals use it as a water source. This is one important way the caves function in the ecosystem for the wildlife. The variety of species seen at Croc 2 and Bat Sub support the idea that caves has a, have a significant role in wildlife ecology. They can be a place of refuge or a supply of resources such as water. Further research can help enhance our knowledge regarding the full potential of caves as habitats and clue us into how they are utilized by wildlife. What can we do next? How can we improve our process? And how can we gain even more knowledge on the subject? And to be sure, caves, and specifically these ones, are some of the least explored areas on Earth. So it's not difficult to find something new and discover something different each visit or even every hour that is spent inside a cave. Um, so, using the deployed camera traps, we discovered countless animals entering and exiting the cave over a period of about a year, um, with a few jaguar sightings, a number of opossums, and so, so many paca. Um, and the most expandable portion of our study regarding, um, typically terrestrial animals using, using caves would be animal behavior, um, asking why they are using the caves. And for a number of the animals, some of those reasons can be answered. Um, we, s we saw jaguars take their prey into caves um, to feed without interruption from other animals. So they'll spend some time resting and feeding. Um, and then there's also water that frequently gathers in caves, which provides uh, highly desirable location for any creature to get a drink. Um, but one of the most confounding visitors in the caves that paid so many visits and um, multiple visits for each group that we saw were the paca. And, and these are small frugivores and there is no fruit that grows in the cave. So they're definitely not using it as a primary uh, food source and potentially it's just the water use that prompts them to go spelunking <laughs> they could also be using caves for nests or protection but while we were there um, we didn't see any bedding material and other things that were left in the cave as evidence uh, there was an instance where we saw a pack of carrying something in its mouth that could have been vegetation to use as bedding um, but we couldn't really identify that for sure um and obviously none of the questions uh, whether they use it primarily for food drinking um or uh nesting don't have definitive answers and it's all pretty much made up of speculation based on uh brief camera glimpses i propose that more cameras or different camera placement might yield more in-depth results on their behavior. That said, it would require much more effort to maintain and manage more cameras in uh, locations that are potentially harder to reach, um, and also placement near sources of water would confirm which creatures visit the cave for a drinking source, um, like Croc 2 and Bat Sub both have water at certain points in the year, um, especially during the rainy season in Belize. Um, and also placing cameras further from the cave entrances outside in the forest might also help determine which animals live or travel near the caves but don't actually use or enter them. Um, and of course, the interest that paca, jaguars, and other animals have in the two caves that we studied may not seem so significant at first glance. Um, but because 
the Runaway Creek Nature Reserve is also part of the Maya Forest Corridor. It is essential to document and study every part of the area in order to determine its effectiveness um, for the Central American ecosystems because it combines and connects, not combines, it connects, um, you know, Guatemala and so many areas in Belize so that animals and creatures can travel across from it and exchange genetic diversity. And also Runaway Creek um, remains almost entirely undisturbed by human interference, and it's a v- pretty large and important area. So it likely represents a c- kind of best-case scenario for the terrestrial animals that use the caves. So that's why it's so important for us to be examining which animals enter these caves and use them frequently.